Hey guys, Ben plays here. Welcome to another episode of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Today we are starting Chapter Three. As always, I am joined by Stink Driven and Golden Knight. All right, let's get. I can't believe we're actually starting Episode Three tonight. I'm yeah, excited. That's right. Chapter Three. Oh, episode. Yeah, you're right. It is episode. Episode three: The Adventure of the Runaway Room. Investigation part one. Yeah. Are there well, are there any I'll guys call it in shit. this room? I don't know. Let's see. The Adventure of the Runaway Room. Glancing over my records of the late last century, I am faced by the events of a certain bitter winter. A murder in a carriage as it sped through dense London fog in the dead of night. Though the victim and the perpetrator were the only ones inside, there were multiple witnesses to the crime itself. However, none could have imagined at the time that such a seemingly obvious case as this would end in such a horrendous manner. My friend, Mr. Herlock Jones once said of the incident, I believe that perhaps that case was indeed the prelude. The beginning of a long concerto that impressive Japanese student and I were to play together. Ooh, more anime. Amazing. Is... Is this really just a railway station? Railway station or not, I've never seen such an enormous building before. <laughs> and look at all the steam locomotives. This country is incredible. In that case, um, the Supreme Court in Whitehall, if you wouldn't mind. My pleasure. I suppose you're uh, visiting students from abroad, eh? Yes. <laughs> Thought so. Well then, I hope you enjoy your stay. And welcome to the center of the world. Great Britain's mighty capital, London. The center of the world, eh? <laughs> oh my god, steampunk court. What? Oh wait. Is that? Nice armor. <laughs> Lord Chief Justice's office. <clears throat> Hang on. 18th of February, 9.21 a.m., British Supreme Court, Lord Chief Justice's office. What an incredible place. <laughs> speechless. <laughs> it's so imposing. It's... it's almost suffocating. This place is breathtaking. It looks like a fortress. There are some stone buildings like this in Japan now, of course. But they've only just been built in a few short decades since we opened our border to the outside world. An authentic example like this has quite a few quite a different impact wouldn't you agree a far cry from the wooden paper most of our buildings are constructed from it's certainly unfamiliar 
But I think there's more to the difference than just construction materials. <clears throat> what is this place again? Yeah, it's the Supreme Court. This is the Lord Chief Justice's office, Narahado san, in the Supreme Court of Great Britain. By the way, Steak, that was actually Ryunosuke's line. Just saying. Ah, oh, your video was lagging a little bit. Ah. The Lord Chief Justice. We had instructions to report here at this time. If circumstances were different. We were supposed to let the Lord Chief Justice know that we had arrived in Japan. But Kazuma can't. No. Can't what? I for I wasn't reading. I wasn't paying attention. Never mind. It's been a while, so you probably forgot Kazuma's. I did not forget Kazuma is dead. So instead, we are here in a different capacity. As envoys to report the news of Kazuma-sama's death. Yes. And having delivered his or her message, an envoy's duty is done. So we'd have to return to Japan. If we want to remain here in Great Britain... I have to take Kazuma's place as the law student selected for the study tour. Yes, which means you need the requisite qualifications as a lawyer. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Which is what I've been studying for. <laughs> Here in Great Britain, it is the Lord Chief Justice who appoints lawyers. So that's the second reason why we're here. To have you officially recognized as a lawyer. It's the only way we'll be able to remain here in London. I hope I'm up to scratch. Um, <clears throat> I don't know who this is. Um, I guess I should give voices another shot. Ah, good morning. Sorry for keeping you. Whoa. Mm. Oh. I trust you aren't too exhausted after your long voyage from Japan. <laughs> it seems I'm 1 hour, 12 minutes, and 47 seconds late. My apologies. Oh, no, no, don't mention it. I wonder if my Brit uh, British vo uh, accent has gotten any better. <laughs> we're never happier than when we're standing around with nothing much to do. How fortunate. So, introductions. I am... Male Strongheart, Lord Chief Justice of the British Empire. He's the judge? Uh, and I feel like a little mouse under an elephant's foot. Come on, Mr. Narahato, <laughs> don't be a mouse. <laughs> Wait, she can... Oh, um... It's, it's an honor to meet you, Lord Chief Justice Strongheart. I'm Ryunosuke Narahoto from the Empire of Japan. Well, Mr. Narahodo. Welcome to London, the capital of our glorious British Empire. Ah, yes, thank you. Let's converse with the man. About London. So, what are your impressions of our capital so far? How do you like London? Oh, um, well, uh... Help! I've been so nervous ever since I got here that I can't remember a single thing about the city. Oh. It's simply splendid, isn't it, Master Narahato? Oh? 
We had a wonderful view of some of London's streets from the carriage on the way here from the station. Everything is so impressive and grand. I must say, I'm almost at a loss for words. I'm glad to hear you like it. The city boasts tramways, piped water and gas, even cables supplying electricity. We spearhead every revolutionary new technology in the world. Every visitor to London is astounded. Oh yes, astounded is the word. Wait a minute, are we inside Big Ben? I don't know. That's Thanks. A clock face. Yeah. We could be. I don't know. Thanks for saving me there, Susato-san. <laughs> and everyone seems so jolly and full of vigor. Okay, so I know I've literally never seen the word vigor spelled that way, even though I knew that's probably the British way of spelling it, but. That is the official way to spell vigor. Yeah. Yes. There's much excitement about the upcoming great ex exhibition we will be hosting here in London. Hmm. Great exhibition? <laughs> Cultural and technological achievements from around the globe are to be exhibited here in a great city. It will be the greatest spectacle of its kind in history. And will make Paris's World Fair look like a toy shop. Gosh, I can hardly imagine how magnificent it's going to be. Great Britain's capital city is nothing but magnificent. London is the center of the modern world. Even if you do say so yourself. The sun will never set on our great empire. Perhaps it is fate that in these progressive times, we welcome visitors from the land of the rising sun. I want to make his voice a little deeper. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Um, Lord Chief Justice, I think you were expecting a student of law for this study tour, weren't you? Absolutely. A Mr. Kazuma Asogi, if my memory serves. That's right. The British government has already been telegraphed a full report on the situation. I understand the young man lost his life aboard the steamship bound for our shores. That's amazing. The news reached him before we even arrived. My country naturally extends its deepest condolences to yours. Oh, thank you. And you honored this appointment specifically to inform me of the news? Yes. We are here in the capacity of envoys from Japan to report the sad news in person. I. I'm sorry, Golden, but I'm pr You can look it up, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Envoy. Oh, yeah, I reckon it is. Envoy? Yeah, Envoy. They tell me you Japanese are a people of protocol and courtesy, and I see that it's true. And it is with some regret that I must inform you that the death of the young lawyer means the study tour arrangement can no longer proceed. No! If you would just hear us out, Lord Strongheart. What do you have to say, madam? It's about the study tour. Mr. Naruhato here would like to make a proposal. Will you marry me? No, I'm kidding. We made that joke in the first... Would he now? Well, Mr. Naruhoto? This is it then. The moment of truth. Continuing the study. Really? There's a separate- okay. Study, study, study! The thing is, Lord Justice, er, uh, I mean, Lord Strongheart, I was wondering if perhaps you would consider allowing the study tour to go ahead. 
Hmm. Don't misunderstand me. Britain would ideally like to see the tour go ahead. But without a lawyer from your country, there's nothing to be done. <clears throat> well, in that case... What if there was someone else? Another lawyer from Japan, I mean. But you're not one, though. All he has to do is get recognized as one. And he's already proven himself. Yeah. Is there something I don't know? Um... Only a single lawyer was invited to Great Britain from your country. And that was Mr. Asogi. At least, that has... That is what I've been led to understand. Well, the thing is, this really isn't going well at all. I just can't seem to find the right words to say to this man. Mr. Naruhado? I could ruin things here if I'm not careful. What am I going to say? If there is someone else here from Japan who could be described as a lawyer, it's... It's me! It's me! I can do it! Is that so? I mean, I don't actually have any qualifications as such, but... No qualifications, you say? And yet you still claim to be a lawyer? I, I have acted as a lawyer in court before. Uh, only once as it happens. And I had Kazuma to help me, and I was the accused. But glossing over the details... <laughs> I've been spending every spare moment on the journey here to Great Britain studying. I've learnt all about British law and court proceedings while I was on board the SS Beria. <laughs> the voyage from Japan is some 50 days, I believe. Not what you might call a full education. To become a qualified lawyer here in Britain, not only do you need a university degree in law, you must also complete several years of training. I, I realize it's far too short a period of time. But, I can't just go back to Japan. Cause, in, I mean, Mr. Asogi's journey had only just begun. Coming here on this study tour was all he had thought about. I have to carry on and do everything he planned to do. I know it must sound like I have an overly inflated opinion of myself, but I would do anything to prove that I have what it takes. Any test you care to set me. Oh. Just one chance. That's all I'm asking for. Please! I'll bet he's gonna give you a hard-ass case to defend. Hmm. 31 seconds. Sorry? Your opening statement there, Mr. Narahodo. It was 31 seconds long. Not too brief, not too protracted. A perfectly judged appeal, I would say. Which is a skill that would stand you in good stead as a lawyer. Oh, thanks. So, you're willing to put those words to trial, are you? Well, I'm all for entertainment. Huh? But let me ask you one thing first, sir. Yes? You say you intend to do everything Mr. Asogi planned to do. Are you firmly set on that path? Well, yes, that's my intention. I see. Am I imagining things? Or did his expression just alter a fraction there all of a sudden? You must be imagining things, unless you guys saw it. Uh, you wouldn't know by the animation, I don't think. Oh, okay. Very well. You have your wish. I'll give you a chance. A test to become a specially certified lawyer. Whether you pass is entirely down to you. Really? Really? <laughs> so, what form will the test take, exactly? Tell me, Mr. Narahodo, what do you consider the role of a lawyer to be? Well, defending people, of course. Well said. So, let's have you defend someone. Huh? Your timing is perfect, in fact. There's an apt trial about to begin later today. 
No advocate has been appointed for the defense as yet, so this will be welcome news. Mm. Today? Straight away? Oh, sorry. That's your line. Yeah. Straight away? If you manage to secure a verdict of not guilty, you'll have passed my test. What could be simpler? Called it. Uh, how do I get myself into these situations? At least he's not the accused this time. Well, could I ask, what sort of trial is it, Lord Strongheart? Hmm, yes, good question. Ah, I remember. It's a murder trial! I could have told you that much. Well, to be fair, that's not, like, guaranteed, but... But murder? Yeah, haven't you ever heard of murder before, Susato? Boop! An extremely simple case, I understand. You rarely can't lose. That's easy to say. But I should mention, just in case... If the defendant is found guilty, he will of course be sentenced to capital punishment. Capital punishment? H he'll be put to death? Uh, yes. Why are you bothered by that? Here in Great Britain, murderers are sent to the gallows without exception. Presumably you read that much in your short sea-based introduction to British law? We can't possibly agree to such a test. We would be toying with a man's life. Again, don't you come from a country where if you look at a samurai wrong, they can get cut down? Yeah, I don't know. I am the Lord Chief Justice, and I've decided it's acceptable. Therefore, it is acceptable. But, but you can't do that, can you? There's no need to overcomplicate this. All you have to do is ensure that you don't lose. So the defendant may live or die depending on how well I perform in court. If I lose, he'll be hanged. Mr. Narahodo, you've come to me claiming to be a lawyer. If you want me to take you seriously, you need to prove you're willing to do a lawyer's job. And you say you intend to see through the will of your compatriot, Mr. Asogi. I would like to understand just how far you're willing to go in order to make that happen. He's testing my resolve. What's the matter? You've fallen silent. I'm sorry, but time is pressing. The trial begins shortly. I need an answer from you now. What's it to be? What do I say? Do I agree to this absurd test? I won't do it! No, we'll do it. Of course we'll do it. It's, ace, it's, it's an ace attorney game, not an ace I don't do crap game. <laughs> ace I don't do crap game. You missed a line. <laughs> I know. All right then. If I have to give give you a decision now, my answer is is da. Ah, I can't do it. I can't get the words out. Fifteen seconds. Hmm. Your decision making needs work if you want to be a lawyer. That was too slow. So it's as I suspected, is it? Sorry. You have noble intentions, but lack the resolve to see them through. The test is cancelled. Thank you for stopping by. Go and acquire your ticket back for passage to the east tomorrow. This conversation is over. Short chapter. Yes, Lord Strongheart. Well, with that, that's the end of the video. No, I'm kidding. Thank you for offering me a chance. Mr. Narahato. I'm sorry, Miss Susato. 
But what could I do? It's alright. I understand. You do? It's not an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances. But resolve has absolutely nothing to do with it. Boom. Dun, dun. What are you trying to say, madam? What? I think what Miss Susato means is that no matter how badly I'd like to be recognized as a lawyer and stay here in Great Britain, to risk another man's life by treating his one and only chance at a trial so trivially would be utterly unforgivable, and I feel exactly the same way. I'm sure the defendant won't see his tri this trial as a test, as some kind of experiment. Mm. A lawyer may fight for his clients in court day after day, but oh, but for each one of those clients, the particular day they stand in the dock may be the only chance they have to fight their to prove their innocence. No, I was wrong. I'm not qualified to do that job yet. I'm sorry for wasting your precious time, Lord Chief Justice. Wait! Mr. Narahodo! Oh, was there something else? It's approximately 20 minutes by carriage to the Old Bailey from here. If you leave immediately, you should still be there in time. But I just said that... I was quite serious in what I told you. The defendant in this case has literally no one to advocate for him. Uh, did I... I did not mean to click that. What? At this point, he can't hope to find someone to represent him. The trial will begin without a defense. And if that happens, there's only one possible outcome. He will receive the most severe sentence the judge can pass down. But that's awful! But that is the truth. Why does it have to be like this? I don't know. Please don't expect an answer to every question. The cold hard truth of the matter is that there is only one person now with a chance to save this man from a very miserable end. And that is you. I'm really his only hope? So, what do you say now, madam? Me? What do you mean, Lord Strongheart? You said it wasn't an easy decision to choose whether to defend a man in these circumstances, and I agree. But in my estimation, it is purely and simply a matter of resolve. Oh. Our time is up here. I have a meeting to attend. I must leave in 2 minutes and 16 seconds. So! Venture into our great city and enjoy yourselves! What does this guy remind me of? I don't know. I feel like he reminds me of something, too. He's gone. Hmm. The old Bailey. If we're going to do this, Mr. Naruhato, we must leave at once. Okay, actually, alright, let's see. Move. The Old Bailey. Oh! Read this. If we hurry and catch a cab, we may just make it to the courthouse in time. 
And then I'll read the description here. London's highest criminal court with an illustrious past, the Old Bailey. This is where I'm to take my test and prove my worthiness as a lawyer. It will be the greatest spectacle. <laughs> It'll be spectacular, spectacular, in the horse vernacular. <laughs> I can't get the giggles out. Hang on. <clears throat> Focus! It will be... <laughs> I'm sorry, this is terrible. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.